One of the things that's different about Hedder in this production is it's quite a modern adaptation. So it's a version where Hedder's sexuality is different. Um, so I think it, rather than just being a production of Hedda Gabler where the actors are wearing modern clothing and it's in a, on a modern set, um, I think it really is a, a modern take on the whole play. So this adaptation came out of a reading of it that me and the writer Harriet who adapted it kind of both saw in it, which is one of the characters who's traditionally male as actually female and found that a really exciting um, version of the play because then that brings queerness into the mix and means that Hedda's, some of Hedda's unhappiness is the fact she's still not come to terms with her sexuality and who she is. Just by changing this one character, it added a whole new uh, take on the play that really excited us and seems to have excited everyone else. It's been really lovely being at Reading Rep. It feels like a real privilege to be rehearsing in the space. I'm just uh, excited to be here. Reading's done a lot of really great work and it's a really lovely team behind the production. It's great to be at Reading Rep and it's such a great place to work. I've been working on an opera since I was 16. I used to do car park duty and then I started interning in the office and then I started assisting on productions, uh, helping productions and now I'm directing a production. So it's really nice to be back and be doing this show. We're in week one currently and it's been a great week to justify a lot of what Hedda does in this play, which you know you could read as just Hedda's being mean to people, but actually what we're exploring is how every character around her kind of has their own motives as well. Everyone wants something. Everyone's trying to get what they want out of this. And Hedda, most of all, pulls the strings and gets what she wants. So it's really fun to explore that in the room and justify why all these characters do what they do in the play. I would describe Hedda to someone who doesn't know her as quite dangerous, <laughs> probably, but uh, fascinating and entertaining and charming and terrifying I think. You're never quite sure where you are with Hedda in a room. She could be building you up and then taking you down in very quick succession. So I would tell people to beware of Hedda I think.